Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good evening, I'm Jen Ah. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. In Top Stories, sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at NevadaHand.org. The man shot by police in downtown Las Vegas earlier this week makes his first court appearance, only to be kicked out moments later. 26-year-old Hector Oriana was ordered out of the courtroom for shouting expletives while prosecutors presented their case. Police say Oriana tried to attack a police lieutenant trying to break up a fight. Bail was set at $100,000. Now to the fire department's response to last month's shooting that left one dead and 13 injured at a central Las Vegas hookah lounge. Review Journal's Renee Summerauer brings us that recording. Renee. Gen Fire Department personnel responded to the shooting on February 26th at Manny's Glow Ultra Lounge and Restaurant. Crews could be heard locating victims and coordinating the best place to treat those with gunshot wounds. Well, we made entry into the nightclub. There's multiple patients throughout the nightclub shot. As some victims were being treated, crews could be heard relaying that the minor injuries included victims shot in the leg and shoulder. As far as the ambulances are, so we can start to bring journeys in, load people up, and get them out of here. Of the 14 people shot, 12 were taken to Sunrise Hospital and Medical Center. 33-year-old Demetrius Beard died at Sunrise from multiple gunshot wounds. Police also released details about the arrest of Lee Wilson. Wilson is charged with one count of open murder and 12 counts of attempted murder. According to the Metropolitan Police Department arrest report, Wilson was attending a birthday party at the lounge when an altercation occurred among several people and multiple people had guns. Wilson's social media and video surveillance from the scene led police to identify him as the suspect. Jen. In the world of politics, Secretary of State Barbara Sagafsky plans to appeal a judge's ruling that two initiatives to raise taxes be removed from this year's ballot, a higher tax tier for Nevada's largest, wealthiest casinos, and to increase part of the sales tax for education. Secretary of State Barbara Sagafsky pretty much had to appeal this by virtue of her office. Uh, she's uh, positioned the Secretary of State's office as the defender of the Constitution in this matter, saying that uh, that she cannot allow these initiatives to be withdrawn because the Constitution says they can't be. The Clark County Teachers Union filed the initiatives then tried to remove them after the legislature passed a new tax on mining revenue. In weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. If you're still grouchy from losing that one hour of sleep on Sunday, Here's something that may cheer you up. The U.S. Senate has unanimously approved a measure that would make daylight saving time permanent across the U.S. next year. That means no more switching clocks and more afternoon daylight. Speaking of sunshine, after a sunny day and gusty day, winds are still blowing but should taper off by 10 tonight. Temps should sink into the 50s overnight. On Thursday, a partly cloudy day with a high of 72 and low of 48 degrees. Then a pleasant and sunny Friday. From Saturday through Monday, gear up for windy days ahead. Then for the rest of next week, sun, sun, and more sun. Sports brought to you by Station Casino's STN Sports. Download the app today. On the first official day of the new league year, the Raiders made a splash move by signing four-time Pro Bowl defensive lineman Chandler Jones. Jones has tallied double-digit sacks in six of the last seven seasons, including ten and a half last year. The pass rusher will join Max Crosby, who posted this picture of himself FaceTiming Jones after the news was announced. But in a corresponding move, the Raiders traded defensive end Yannick Ngar way to the Colts. Obviously a high sack total guy gets the quarterback. It's a lot of pressure, an impactful player, but really a better scheme fit uh, to the 3-4 that the Raiders are looking to transition to. They've been a 4-3 team the last couple of years. And Gawkway and Crosby together wouldn't really work in that system. So Chandler Jones brings a much better scheme fit to the Raiders. In entertainment, sponsored by DiscoverNevada.com, brought to you by Travel Nevada. A resident from Illinois is now a million dollars richer after visiting Las Vegas. Dennis Albers hit the mega jackpot on Face Up Pai Gao at the Cromwell Las Vegas on Tuesday. Albers says he'll donate some to charity, share some with family, and maybe buy a vacation house. 
Plus, who says the Grammys are just for grown-ups? Several nominees for Best Children's Music Album will perform a free concert on April 2nd at 10.30 a.m. at the Water Street Plaza in downtown Henderson, a day before the official awards show on April 3rd. Artists include One Tribe Collective, Uno, Dos, Tres, Andres, and Lucky Diaz and the Family Jam Band. In business, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability. Gas in Las Vegas has officially hit the $5 mark on average. Nevada as a whole is the third state to reach $5 in the U.S. after California and Hawaii, according to AAA. The national average continues to dip, but the West Coast is dealing with the price hike due to refinery issues in California. And the UFC steps into the NFT arena. The Mixed Martial Arts League teamed up with Dapper Labs to launch the UFC strike brand of digital video assets that can be sold or traded online. A big key to this is um, the fighters get a pretty big stake in this as well. Uh, they get 50% of revenue driven by the NFT sales. So obviously, you know, all parties involved are making money off this, not just the UFC brass. UFC President Dana White says Dapper Labs can create new NFTs quickly even during a fight week. Sports betting, sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The Golden Knights' odds to win the Stanley Cup are the highest since their inaugural season. After Tuesday's 7-3 loss to the Winnipeg Jets, the Knights' odds to win the NHL title have skyrocketed to 40-1 to at the Westgate Superbook, where they opened the season as 5-1 to co-favorites with Colorado. Circus Sports has a prop on Vegas to make the playoffs, with no being a minus-120 favorite while yes, pays even money. For more details, read Todd Dewey's column at ReviewJournal.com. In health, a fourth dose of the COVID vaccine? An anonymous source reportedly told the AP Pfizer is expected to request authorization from the FDA and CDC this week for an additional booster shot for those 65 and older. The pandemic affected that age group the most. In Lifestyle, for Women's History Month, Dress for Success honors female leaders through its campaign, Your Hour, Her Power. Review Journal's Carrie Roper talks to the executive director about rewriting history for women. I think there is a sense that, you know, you're coming to receive a government handout. Maybe it's a nonprofit where you have to fill out paperwork. I want to make sure that our women know that the way we provide our services are with utmost dignity, concierge, private client. That's very, very important to lift women up, especially if these women are coming maybe from domestic violence situation. But it could be a woman in any walk of life. It could be a middle class woman that the rug got pulled under her with the pandemic, right? She was furloughed. Her hours were reduced. Um, it, 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 so women find themselves in different trajectory at different points of their lives and we're here to help them navigate and provide completely free programming and services for them in a dignified fashion. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. If you're watching from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to the Review Journal's YouTube channel for more great content. Watch Las Vegas Breaking News streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you tomorrow for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.